Hey, yeah, my name's Matt, and I'm going to be doing a series of video entries doing a end to end DIY bathroom renovation. Uh, the first thing is the clear up, so it's quite messy at the moment. Uh, once I've done the clear up, I'll walk you through what I'm going to do. Uh, the whole series will be 30 second, one minute videos of each of the stages I'll be going through, more so for a video I'll for myself, and then I'll eventually get around to putting it on YouTube and then any of the advice, any of the good video skills, tips, tricks that I found on YouTube, I'll link below and then I'll take you through the end-to-end -end process. It's not instructional, it's more just video diary log based, but at least it gives people a bit of an idea and indication of the steps to go through when you're doing it end-to-end -end. and this is pretty much an end-to-end. -end. There are some bits that have taken place already, but I'll walk you through that in the next video. Enjoy. Right, the second video, the cleanup is done now, so I'm going to walk you through a uh, layout now. So, layout as it was, and then the layout to be. Uh, the next video I'll show you about what we're actually going to do, but I'll run through that now. I'm going to change the camera angles so we get a bit of a better view. Uh, so just flip the camera angle around, I'm going to show you the things we're going to do with the layout now. So, as you come in, the original bathroom went along this wall here. And then what we did was we stole a bit of space, which is a good metre and a half by two metres at least, uh, from the over large bedroom in the next door. So we've reconfigured the upstairs. It's a dormer bungalow as well, by the way. So as it was before, pretty much from this wall here, which is the chimney stack, we had a bathtub running from here over to here. Then pretty much directly next to that, you can see it's quite a small bathroom. There was a toilet over in this space. And then over here was roughly the sink. Uh, and then, uh, so sink was here, and then the radiator was, the radiator was tucked down here, small one, I think it was. So the layout now will be, the door's behind me. There's now going to be a towel rail here, which I'll be covering off that in the next video. Then over here, we're going to be putting a bath, which I regret because I think it's oversized for the space, but we will see. Then as we move around the bathroom, the toilet's going to be over here now. And then the sink and vanity unit and bits and pieces are going to be over here. And then tucked away in this space will be the shower. Um, Walk-in shower type job over here. And then there'll be some storage uh, of some sorts here. Uh, in the next video, I'll tell you about uh, the intended things we're going to be doing. Uh, one thing I'd like just to cover off is to show you what has been done so far uh, prior to this little mini video series so you can see what's been done in terms of the preparation steps. So uh, discussed about extending into this room here previously. So there was a wall here which is now not there. Uh, we've got the water coming in. So we've got the feed for the bath. It's going to be central taps for that one. Uh, the toilet which is going to be hung off the wall. The vanity unit and sink which will be hung off the wall and then the shower which will be somewhere over here. I'm not yet decided. Uh, also this whole space, if I step back a second, has been boarded and skimmed. Slightly regret that because I think in hindsight now I would have preferred to cover that whole area in weddy board instead. Tile backer weddy board um, because it's generally going to be the wettest space. There's going to be some sort of walk-in type um, shower jobby over here. Also the electrics have been prepped as well, so we've got a uh, sign in this corner, we've got a feed over here, there's going to be a small TV at the end of the bath is the plan. Um, over here we've got the feed for the vanity unit, that will have some sort of LED kind of uh, scenario going on. Uh, lighting is in, so we've got um, some simple LED lights across the bathroom, the, uh, the water rated ones. And then above the shower, uh, it's quite useful really, this is a LED light, which is attached to the main lights, but it's also a vent as well, an extractor. So that will sit above the shower, hopefully take all of the, uh, the condensation steam out of the shower for that as well. The inner electrics that have been ready and prepped um, is a wire here, which is leading through to many few spurs either side of the wall, which is in preparation for the underfloor heating, which will be electric underfloor heating. Everything else moving forwards, will be covered off with a before and after as I walk through the little mini video series. Thanks, bye bye.